Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at the all new redesigned Coachman Freelander and this one is the first 2021 in the country. This is the 2021 Coachman Freelander model 31 MBF. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, the world's only channel that gives you that true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to show you the all new, all improved, 2021 Coachman Freelander. Now, before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, everyone. How's it going? Going good. It's a beautiful day here. It's a beautiful day here in Central Ocala, Florida. Yeah, beautiful. Hope you guys are doing well. Can't wait to show you the new design Coachman Freelander it actually, 2021. Yep, it actually looks really good. Now, there's some 2020s that have these new design features. This one just got VIN to a 2021. But, um, what are the new changes? So first, model is 31 MB, but the actual tip to tip length is 32 feet, 11 inches. Uh, there's not too many changes, but it's a little bit of quality changes. They've actually gone up in quality a bit. And one of the big things is this fiberglass front brawl, okay? So if you look at that white Freelander right over there, those Freelanders over there, can you see that? Let's run, come on, come on. Let's run. <laughs> I'm not running in flip-flops. I'll be flat on my face if I do that. No way. He's crazy. You could have just got it from the other video. You showed it before. No, 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 no. We'll show it this way. So you see how the fiberglass sidewalls in the front meet and there's this little piece of trim? Yeah. Well, on that, come on, let's go back. You need the exercise. I'm good. <laughs> I walk the dog three times a day, babe. I get enough walks. This one has the fiberglass brawl that actually wraps around, so it makes it less likely for leaks. Nice. Also, big improvement is obviously the E450 chassis. They do now have the cameras on the side. Yay. That used to just be a leprechaun feature, now they have it. And you got these nice big- Awesome. Mirrors right here. And what about the tires? Oh, he's your hand cook. Dynapro LT225-75 R16. I love it. Coming down the side of this floor plane, you have a huge power awning. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. That's a big awning. Wow, that's hey, really Andrea. big. That's a big awning. That's a huge awning with LED lights. I love it. Uh, that's the biggest awning I've ever seen on a motorhome. And look, it even has a center support because it's that big of a Nice. Awning. I don't like that it's white, but it's still pretty nice because it's big. It's all right. Because uh, this is a Coachman, you do have the Asdale composite, which is a green material. It will never delaminate on you. Right there, you do got solar prep for the outside. Right here is your propane tank. It is a 68-pound propane tank in Andrea. Yes. We'll have all the rest of the specifications about this motorhome. Lengths, tank size, widths, everything down in the description below. Is this a TV? I don't know what it is. Oh, oh yeah. nice, with the sound bar. TV on the outside, Bluetooth with the sound bar, Furion TV, I love that. That's very nice. Very nice. Right here. Not my favorite type of doors. Yep, but... a little bit of storage. But it is the Freelander, so it yeah, is still that's the true. cheaper version of the uh, Leprechaun. Right, there's your water heater. I like how it's white. Wish they continued the decal, but it's all right. This is nice. Oh. Propane quick connect right there. I like cool. how it's high up and not underneath. Yeah. Just makes it easier to access. And then this. More storage. More storage. Nice. And then this right here might be a fridge. Nope. Nope. Oh, oh. wow, look at that. Holy smokes. Wow. That is a ton of storage. That is crazy. Man. 
And then look at this, it has holes in there. So you can fill this up with ice, you know, put beers. That's awesome. Beers and sodas, and then the water will just drip out. I not expecting that at all. Yeah, me neither. Oh man, I love it. I love um, how you can get to it on. Stinky, stinky. All, yeah, you can get to it on all three slides. Let's see. Oh. Well, just open it because it is cool that you have all access to it on yeah, all man. three sides. Yeah, man. That's badass and awesome. It is. That's humongous. Yep. Wow. Great. And it does have a hitch. It's a 7,500 pound hitch. But again, doesn't necessarily mean you can tow 7,500 pounds. You always want to watch how much you load in this, especially with that rear storage. You can definitely load up a lot of weight. You got a backup camera right there. And then you have a one piece cross flex PVC roof. Let's go up there and take a look. I like how it has that slip resistant thing right there on the bumper. Oh yeah. All right, hold on now. Here we go. All right, up here on the roof, you can see this is a nice one piece PVC cross flex roof. You have your uh, power fan vents there with max air covers. Right there, you do have a Dometic AC unit. It's a 15K. And then right there's your digital antenna for television. Oh, and right here, you do have a Wi-Fi Ranger. Careful. Oh, great. Watch it. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What do RV salesmen school take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. And also, a lot of people are saying they're not getting the video notifications. You got to make sure you hit subscribe button to the channel. Also, smash that bell notification so you get notification updates about every time we release a video. Cool. And you said I missed something back here? Nope. Okay. So coming around the driver's side, right here is that other side of your storage right there. All right. Right here is your city water connection. Oh my God, I like that. Last time we did one of these, it was all exposed. Yes. I like how there's at least a little door. Definitely. I'm a fan of that. Right there's your fuel fill up in the rear. TV hookup. Right here. This is where you dump your black and gray tank. Okay. I like that. And then right there is a place for a 30 amp power cord right there. You got a little bit more storage and a generator. This is a Cummins Onan 4000 generator. Nice. Great. Andrea. And this is storage too. Yes. A little bit more. Nice. I just like that. I like all the storage on here. Yep. A little bit more. Great. Great feature. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but, and it's redesigned. But the inside's even more redesigned and it looks even better. Let's go take a look. <laughs> you got a different pep in your step today. Dr. Peppa. <laughs> okay. Wow. Check out this motorhome, Andrea. Again, we did this the other day with that other brand. The slide outs are in. I know, this is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Look at this. Can totally love the bathroom already. Yep. Okay, so as you can see, here's the bedroom. There is the slide on the closet. And then when you walk in, I mean, look how much it opens up. But it was just crazy, all the walkway space. Yep, really is. Wall of slide outs are coming out. Again, y'all, don't forget, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. We are just a few subscribers away from 40,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. You know what? I'm just in shock, you guys, honestly. I mean, when we first started doing this and I started joining the team and recording Matt back in the fall, it was only like, what, 15,000? Uh, it was like 7,000, 8,000, 7, 10,000. Yeah. You guys, this is amazing and crazy all at the same time. And it just, I'm so grateful to all of you. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Yep. Love you guys. We appreciate it. So let's get started with this uh, cockpit area. So look back there, please. Notice how this is not a flush floor, okay? Mm -hmm. Some people don't like that. But because it dips, both driver's seats are able to swivel nice. to become part of the living area. That's So there's great. a pro and a con. Up here, you know, I like the gray tone they got going on here. Now this does not have that new Ford V8 engine. Um, it got titled as a 2021, but it's still the Ford V10. And this is just the cockpit area, no big changes. 
But I do like the gray tone color scheme I'm seeing here. I like it too. And if you hold on to this, I'm yep. going to check the cargo carrying. Oh, yeah. What's the CCC, Andrea? It is. Oh, my. What's that? 2,206 pounds. Nice. That's crazy. All right. That's pretty good. Up here in the bunk over the cab, you can see that it does have the max air fans already on it. That's nice. Yep. And I am a big fan of the safety net here. Yes. Very nice. A lot of manufacturers aren't doing that no. anymore. So the safety net, so your kids don't roll off the bed. This does have a ladder for up here and it does hold 350 pounds. Got a window, got a privacy carton. Now, Andrea, this bunk over the cab is missing something. USB. Is it missing the TV that swings out? Yes, thank goodness. Well, why is that? Ah, maybe it has a televator. Oh. Yay. And then, and then stand over there. Show how, like, the TV is directly across from the sofa. Yes. I love that. Me too. Mm-mm-mm. Bam, nice Furion television too. Right across from the sofa. Let's show this. You okay, got the so lights have... there, cabinetry there. Not hidden hinge cabinetry, but again, we got entry lines. level. But look at the colors. Like, mm -hmm. like it's it does look really, really nice. Yeah, the color scheme doesn't bother me. Yep. And it has Wi-Fi Ranger in here. Yep, I showed that on the roof. You got these nice windows for cross Just leave ventilation. That open. Yeah, it's kind of hot in here. Kind of hot. And here we go with the sofa. You got three seat belts. And a jackknife to make a bed. Yes. All right, Andrea. Why don't you show? Well, see, here's what I love about that, right? Because it can go down. It can go down. And then look how much kitchen countertop exactly. area you have. So I'm going to put it down. No, no, no. Leave it up. Leave it up. Leave it up. Yep. Well, did you? I wanted to show. There is a window behind here, you guys. Yep. So if you don't want this up, you have lots of light. Uh huh. So I'm gonna go over the counter, uh, the cupboards, because I'm right here. Well, right there is a DVD player as well. Yes, I see. <laughs> Got a nice shelf in there. DVD, Bluetooth. Nice. You have all that right there. And then we have three drawers. Uh huh. Now. See how that is different? That's kind of cool. Yep. I wonder what they made did that for. Because it the looks sink, good. We have a big cabinet. Holy smokes. That is huge. That is. And we have a little window here with mini blinds. Yep. A double sink. Okay. Um on, uh, did I show this? Nope. And then oh wow. Lots of storage Look in here. Look at that. I like this sink too. It's pretty nice. Pretty good size. And then we have a cubby above uh -huh. for your bread and maybe storage baskets. Cute little tiny microwave. Yep. And then you do have a three burner cooktop. Then you kind of have a backsplash going on there. The glass cover. Yes, you do. It, it's okay. Honestly, I mean, I'm not going to pick on it. And then you got a cute little magic chef. Well, oven. it could have been higher up. It, it could have been. Yeah. And then above the fridge, we have another cabinet. Uh huh. And then we have the Dometic fridge, and I don't know, Matt, is this two-way? Yes, two-way fridge. Oh, it's cold. Runs off both propane and electric. Nice. And Andrea, this yeah. is such a nice motorhome, but it's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this motorhome is... I did not take a picture of it again. But we got it. MSRP on this 2021 Coachman is $111,526 MSRP. We have it, even though it's a 2021, we have it 29% off to $79,999. Wow. That is a great sale price, especially for a 2021. Absolutely. But Andrea, Yes. You can get a better price than that. Absolutely. Tell everybody how they can do it. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962 or mattsrvreviews at gmail.com or contact me directly through my website, mattsrvreviews.com. Andrea. Yes. Let's continue the video. All right. And hey, I would like to say one more thing. Um, We love absolutely everybody. Thank you guys Thank so you much. Everybody. Please call me and set an appointment. I don't know what the heck's going on. <laughs> Y'all are going crazy and a million people are coming in, in a good way, to shop for RVs. I guess because all this corona crap's going on. And so now people are coming in. Call to set an appointment because if you don't, I cannot help you because 
I feel like a doctor, Andrea. I feel, I feel important. Are you an RV doctor? Uh, I'm the RV nice. doctor. Nice. <laughs> Check out this big U-shaped dinette. Wow. I love it. I that's I love the big dinette. Look at the drawers. You know, that's iconic to Coachman. Great that the table, I love the size of the table. Yep. Look at that. Nice. Yeah, because there is some U-shaped dinette that with are really very, small yep. tables. And I had commented it the other day on a video we did. Yeah, I mean, you can sit here in the corners. You got your cup holders right there, your cup holders back here. This is exactly where I'd be sitting. Oh, man, and look, I have a and you know what? head-on look at the television. I will say about this, this is perfect. Remember when we took a Class E? Yep. And we were all sitting around, and we all could fit, all yep. five of us. Yep. And it was nice because you can all fit your family around. You can do board games on there. Yep. You know, you, you you can eat in here. You've mm -hmm. got plenty of room, and it's great. And you can sit up a uh, if somebody bigger guy. A chair. A chair right there, yeah. And uh, look at that big window. Look at this huge love it. window, and I love how it does open. Very nice. Andrea, how do you like the balances? Um, I'm not a fan of that pattern, but it's okay. I mean, I've seen way worse, so. Andrea... I'm we just, have different tastes. Yes, we do, honey. I like it. I think it looks nice. I like the slide color. I like that it's not dark. All oh, right. Well, let's continue. Notice no vents on the floor right Yay. here. Yay. You do have a solid door leading to the shower they give area. Give you a pocket door. That's awesome. Yep. Over here. Tom. Let's All see. Right. Okay, so you have the door right there that yep. has a magnet at the top. Here's oh. the shower. Let's see. Oh, I like the door to the shower. Yeah, it's this is nice. Little. It's little, but it's nice. You know? Close the door. Okay. Yep. You know what? I like that. Yep. It's not bad. It's not the best. It's definitely not the worst. But cool. Let it's me great because it gives you the pocket door here. Yep. All right. Uh oh. Plastic. Plastic. Wow. I cannot believe they did that, Andre. Me either. Because um, guess what? It, it's a little snug in here, but it would have passed. It would have passed. But because you decided to put plastic in this, you failed the toilet test. I can't believe it. Got a cabinet here. Yep. You got a fan up there. Nice sink place. Got right. another cabinet here. And you got some towel holder, towel holders there, and another cabinet underneath. I mean, even the toilet placement holder sink. was got nice. A mirror, towel holder there. And you know what? Outside the door, you have your thermostat and your slide button and your light switch. Oops, sorry. Oh, that was my toe. I'm sorry. And right. when you go into the bedroom, you can see there is a privacy curtain right there. Yep. Okay. Now we got a north south bed. I do like that. That's how you're able to get that incredible storage. Definitely. I like that wardrobe. Very nice. Yep. Got a door. Look, that's cool. Love that. Got a place for a sleep at machine over there. Oh, that's great. Oh, snap. And they have it on the inside. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Yep, they have the sleep app station on the inside wow. as well. Wow. Double sleep app. You got you a fan a in here. Sorry. Babe. Rear window. No, you're good. Fan, rear window. And then you have nice. your other wardrobe over there. There's a lot, so much closet space in here. Right. Well, this, most of the time when pe manufacturers, uh, I'll, no, I'll say that later. I like, I like this wardrobe too. And right. the other side is the same? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. I got to see. Sorry. My ladies like to see all of it. See, that's different. Look. Oh, yeah. For shoes. That's cute. It is. And a place for you to hang clothes in there. Yep. And then on this wall, guys, hold on. You can mount a TV. Yep. It's got the coax. Right there. Electrical outlet. And look at this. Underneath, you got little shelves in here. Little nooks. That's perfect. I love it. Well, Andrea. Uh, is there storage under here? I don't think so. No. No storage under the bed? That's it. That's the review. Now, before you leave, There's a window it's there now too. time we give you... <laughs> Three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what should we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. Okay, I want to do three things we like about it. Okay. Okay. Um, the reason why is because one of the things is right here. Okay. okay. One of the things I really like about this motorhome, a lot of times when RVs give you this bedroom setup, okay, north to south, um, there's no slide outs in the bedroom. This, they were still able to accomplish that with that nice rear storage and give you a, um, a, what's this called? Wardrobe, a, closet a closet 
a Work closet out. slide out and I haven't seen manufacturers do that. So that's one thing I really do love about this motorhome. Okay, number two. I love the U-shaped dinette and I love how the sofa is directly across from the television. Big, big likes. I really do like that. And it's just simple and I like it. And then three. I love the storage on this. Yes. Love, love, love it. Love that you can get it, you can access it from three different areas. I love that, and you know, a lot of Class C's don't have this much storage, but no. this is insane. Yeah, no, when you get a Class C, you sacrifice storage. You do, definitely. So that's why with this, it, it makes it really nice. And you still have other little compartments of storage on here too, which is amazing. Yep. So I love that. Now, Andrea, look at all these bugs. They're the love bugs, babe. Oh my God. They have no purpose. All they do is mate, reproduce, and die. Like, that's their whole lifespan. Like, they're everywhere. They're bad. Around this Look spring. at them. Yeah, spring and fall. That's what was in our house when we moved down here, remember? Like all those dead love bugs. I didn't agree to this. And I was freaking out. <laughs> here. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this motorhome. Bum, bum, bum. I tell you what, there's not too many dislikes. Here's what I'm going to say. Obviously, I'm going to say that toilet, right? But I'm going to combo it with this sink. Okay. It could have been a flush mounted sink. Yeah. You know, uh, was wouldn't have been that much more expensive. Agree. So that's just one. Two? You said you had one? I don't like that there's a privacy curtain here. Ah, for the bedroom. Yeah. I didn't like that either, but I couldn't remember it. Yeah, I don't like yep, that. Yep, that privacy curtain, yep. I, I wish this door would have led to the bedroom. The bed's comfortable. Yep, very nice. Um, I also wish the bed could be a little bit bigger. But yeah, but then you don't get the space, so. Okay, so that's two. And then three. What's going to be the third? The sofa. It doesn't have any arms on it. It looks weird. It is a weird looking sofa with no arms. You know, I'm going to concur 100%. Because it just kind of looks like, like it needs to have arms. It doesn't look homey without arms. Right. I agree. But that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this motorhome or any other motorhomes, please call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962 or Matt's RV Reviews.com. Click the contact page or uh, come visit me in Ocala. But again, contact me first. Don't just show up, <laughs> please. Andre, <laughs> do you have anything that you want to say? Yes. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Uh, Coachman does read the comments. And I hope everybody's doing well and you guys are safe. And let us know what you think. Great. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, back up, back up. <laughs> Thanks. <so> <laughs> 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 she, she all like. I'm like, here, I'm going to get yeah. close, in, yeah. close up. Thanks so much for watching. Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.